What's going on guys? Vic BP back with our Game Case Arcades video. We're still working on Morris's bar top. We're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna check out which one boots faster, the budget beast versus the laptop. We're gonna be talking about the Xbox One controllers on this and we're still talking about the PC build. Let's take a look. So again, real quick, we're still working on Morris's bar top. Again, keep in mind, I'm pretty busy, but I'm just trying to think of ideas of as far as videos to make for you guys. Um, the most common thing I really do get is that people want to check out the laptop version of the game case, you know, hyper spin build versus how it's compared to the PC build. Keep in mind, the PC build is a little bit more expensive. Um, right now, I'm making this video because I do have to update. There is a game that just came out. Um, I just got it for Mars, and basically now what we're going to do is that we're going to put it on the system. But I figured before I turn the system on, let's do a boot race, meaning let's see which one boots up faster. Laptop based hyperspin drive or our budget beast. So I do have um, everything plugged in. We are using direct power. So this power is plugged into the wall right now, kind of at least to give it a fair kind of thing. I didn't want to do the battery on that. Uh, I didn't want to run the laptop battery on that. So basically what we're going to do is that we're going to load up the stopwatch on this. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but basically I'm going to press start. We're going to power up both machines and we'll see which one boots up faster and how long. On three, two, one, button press. We're going to press start. And now keep in mind that when you do like, for example, on this PC build that we do have, the LEDs are on when you plug it in, but the LEDs are not connected to um, the computer itself. So the LEDs will be on and um, and so on. So right now, let's just see how these boot ups go. Just some people request it. I mean, we're gonna do full boot up. I don't have hyperspin set to like start up automatically. Um, so, you know, the way I kind of cons consider the computer being fully booted up is like once the screen is up and A-OK, -okay, as long as we see like our uh, airplane mode, desktop seems okay. Always leaving it black screen. We got a little bit of a loading thing going on here. Same thing here. Now this here I turn off, it opened up task manager. I'm not too sure why, I don't think it needs it, but I mean, in all honesty, they kind of booted up equally. Um, a minute, figure a minute to boot up. Um, surprised actually that that actually kicked on at the same amount of time. So boot up, there you go, you have it. Um, I'm gonna probably do one more time just to make sure. Um, so let's just turn these off. Keep in mind also that this right now um, does not have the four terabyte in it. Um, this does not have it inside. The four terabyte is not plugged in on my budget beast. The four terabyte is plugged in. That one does not have it plugged in. So let's keep that in mind, I guess. Not that it really makes a difference, but it does, you know, require a little bit more of a boot on it. So right now we're gonna turn off our computers and we will try this again. Same thing. Three, two, one, here we go. Let's run the start on it. Again, keep in mind, LEDs on the actual bar top will always be on once you give power to the actual power strip. On the back of it, there is a power strip, so there will always be power as far as the LED buttons on this. Um, I'm going to be surprised, actually. I'm very surprised that the laptop is actually being able to keep up. Uh, laptop is running 8 gigs, 8 gigs of RAM compared to 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, 1 terabyte, 1 terabyte plus 4 terabyte external. This does have a graphics card in it. i3 processor compared to an i5 co uh, processor. Um, that one right there, I mean, again, laptop's still going. Not too bad. I mean, again, you gotta even figure a minute, a minute boot time on this. Um, pretty surprised, actually, I'm not gonna lie. I thought the laptop was gonna be a little bit slower. Um, but there you have it. The big thing also keep in mind that I do have these set up to airplay mode. Um, any computer you do, if you do have it set to airplay mode, it's so much faster, it boots up faster, it doesn't have to look for the Wi-Fi network. So there you have it, at least to compare your laptop to the bar to the bar top. I mean, I'm surprised that booted up pretty fairly equally if you think about it. Now real quick, because we do have it online, everything, we do have everything up. Let's see how long it takes hyperspin to boot up. So what we're gonna basically do is, I'm gonna click on hyperspin. Okay, so now basically what we're gonna do for this test 
I have the program selected. I always like to press enter on my keyboard. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna have this program is selected. And basically, let's get ready. We're gonna reset. And here we go, ready? Three, two, one, we boot. Let's see what hyperspin boots up faster. That's why I always like to put on the enter key. Gonna skip the intro. I have no video on this as far as the Nintendo 3DS. Hold on. Try to meet up with it. Not bad. Pull it up from arcade. Gonna do Street Fighter on this, so. Since I have Super Street Fighter 2 Tournament Edition. Oh no. Same thing, one button press. So is it the unknown? Loading complete. There you can kind of see it. Now we're witnessing kind of the speeds to it. We're gonna have our little CHD kind of warning. I'm gonna do a different Street Fighter, um, just so we don't have to see the CHD kind of thing. So we're gonna escape, we're gonna escape. Gonna bring it up to regular Street Fighter. The Street Fighter World Warrior. Make sure we're on the same world. Bring it up, bring it down. Here we go, one button. Loading complete. Not bad, see like that's the thing, once you get MAM to like run one and it kind of now knows that it's activated, now you can kind of see we are equal on it. So, I mean again, sometimes the emulators either boot fast or they don't boot fast enough. Um, that one for example, you saw the first one, it took a second for it to boot on both systems. Full screen on this, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. I mean, as of right now, I'm pretty shocked by the results that we're getting. Let's load up an NES. This is Super Mario 3. Same thing. One button press. Loading complete. Not too bad. I'm mean, again. I'm, I'm actually very mind blown right now that this is actually um, working the way it is. Uh, very surprised. Um, I mean, again, depends on what game you're loading. Depends on what emulator you're loading. You literally saw even on the PC once we did the Mam Arcade, it it took a second for it to actually activate. That's why I always say one button and one button only it will load up so keep that in mind pretty 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 amazing stuff right now i'm very shocked by it one button escape this right here looks like it's going to the different resolution so i hear the audio i just didn't see the video so let's see real quick let's load up a different one let's do super nintendo street fighter 2 look at that one button one button only 
Not bad. I was ex <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm very surprised. Usually, I thought the laptop was going to be slower, but um, there you have it. At least you kind of kind of see an actual side by side on this one. The big reason, really, I'm going to make this video is to show you guys like Street Fighter 4, just so you can see like what it looks like. So, without further ado, I think I'm going to probably cut it real quick. Let's start a new bin. So, I mean, again, I do have the speaker on this low. Let's see what happens when it does the auto rotate. It should auto rotate by itself. Same time. Let's see if it lands on the same game. No. Ah, that's why it's, it's randomized. So there you have it. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's do um. Um. I do want to show you guys PC. That's really why I'm doing it. Is to show you guys the PC version. I'm gonna lower this. I do want to show you guys the PC games on this. Mostly, again, to see, like, Street Fighter V we could do, I guess. Um, yeah, you know what? We're going to do Street Fighter V. Just to show you guys. Uh, Street Fighter V I should have on my original regular one terabyte drive. Again, this does not have the external four terabytes running. Let's see. One button and one button only. So again, like games like this, it's running seat. It's got to bring up the Street Fighter V thing. Um, not bad. But the big thing to understand with this is to see physically. Um, do I have my Zenmo connected? I'm not sure if I have my Zenmo connected. I might not. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Just to show you guys real quick. Oh, we got our errors. Again, that's why you can't copy and paste drives. This is somewhere you gotta go into the back end to kind of fix it. Give it a second, this will disappear. We'll be back on it. Just to show you guys, like, this is the real reason I did this, was to show you guys what this, oh man, I had, this is a clean install, so this is gonna show us the whole story mode right now. Can I skip this? Give me a second, let me skip all this. I'm gonna run training on this. I'm gonna let just the, the character select screen to show you real quick. Again, very low settings compared to, I think it's ultra or high. So let's... Let these set up the same exact way, same exact timing. Let's see how it goes. It looks like over there. Not too bad, I'm very surprised right now, but check it out. As you can see, as far as graphics, this is the budget beast. And this is our laptops. You kind of see Ryu is just pixelated, I would say. So you can kind of see how that is right now. So, I mean, again, these are pretty good. I mean, pretty fair comparisons. Usually in the past, this one's taken a, a little bit longer, but very surprised by this as far as how it's um, running. So just to give you guys an idea real quick, as far as, you know, boot up times, they are pretty fairly easy. You're basically now just getting pretty advanced graphics. Um, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do it one more time real quick, just to boot up Hyperspin, cause um, I don't like to hide stuff. I just don't like to hide it. I pulled up the, the camera a little bit closer because it's kind of hard to see this screen. It's such at an angle that like you really can't see it at where this camera is right now. Um, so again, real quick, gonna reboot Hyperspin. I just wanna show you something. This is why it's very important that you have to test, guys. You have to test. So real quick, just to you know let you guys know, this is running, um, my Hyperspin is set to run a program called Joytiki. So on Joy to Key, it makes you know the my arcade inputs look like keyboard inputs. So there is some, there's really two things that happened just now when I filmed that Street Fighter V thing. I just want to bring it back. You know, you're seeing this after I filmed it. So 
just want to bring it back real quick we're gonna go back into street fighter 5 and there's two things that happened and again this is why we i have to test i must test it so you really can't just copy and paste something but we're basically right now gonna reload um street fighter 5 if i can there's something that happened let's see if we can have it happen again real quick three two one we're gonna press enter on this you guys might have noticed it when I did it with here. I was trying to like play it off, but let's just see if it happens again. As you can see here, let's see. This is going to skip. We got a Capcom walking up. That's fine. I just want to see if it happened. An AHK error popped up. Let's just see if we could bring that AHK error back. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. There's one. Oh no, we're good. And we're good. Now the system's good. Um. <laughs> So, um, there it is. Boom. There's one. There's our AHK error. Uh, basically, Hyperspin is still trying to, like, boot. Um, so, let's just see. Is it going to happen on this one? Maybe not. Looks like it's not going to happen. As you can see right now, it kicked me back into the Hyperspin menu. In the background, I could hear the game. But I'm on the Hyperspin menu. So, this is why, again, you do need always a keyboard and mouse handy. Basically, it kind of kicked me back. With the keyboard and mouse, I can press the Windows key and bring it back to the game right here. But the big thing I wanted you guys to notice real quick, something happened. Um, I'm gonna go back into training. This is my X button on the Xbox controller that it's mimicking. Let's see if it could do it again. Right now it's okay. No, it's not. Okay. So here's one thing that you have to keep in mind. Again, this isn't set, we still work on it, so I always work on it. Uh, but basically right now I had these two set one of these is the B button to bring it back as you can see nothing's working but my enter key but on player two my back button works so if now you definitely notice that I'm showing it to you now again my player one button now it works see now it works before it didn't so here's what's happening in the background of this basically joy to key is fighting my Xbox 360 CE program that I have inside of this. So it's literally fighting it. Again, these buttons are set to keyboard input. So for example, this is like X, Y, Z, the actual button on it. Um, I think like, I don't know, say it's like B. My enter button is B. So before you definitely saw it, I had to go to player two to go back. So there is kind of a thing that you have to configure. Basically, I'm gonna actually show you real quick. I'm gonna bring you in close. But again, right now, Joy to Key is running in the background. And because Joy to Key is running in the background, it's taking my button presses. See that? And it, it's assuming that I'm using the keyboard. I messed the camera, but whatever. Basically, again, I have to configure Joy to uh, yeah, I have to configure Joy to Key to like ignore it when launching Street Fighter. So, I mean, again, that's why these things are not. You can't just copy and paste these things. It's literally proven facts. You always need a keyboard handy. That's why I do like the laptop. As you can see on like before, if you replay it back, you saw me, I pressed the Windows key to bring up basically my Windows bar and then go back into Street Fighter. So, I mean, again, keep that in mind, guys. That is something you have to keep in mind. Again, there is configurations. We have to just fix hyperspin. And there's ways to do it that when it launches a Street Fighter game, it'll ignore basically the keyboard inputs. Um, some of you, there is a way to just disable PC games to have keyboard inputs at all. But there are games that do require the keyboard input and won't understand the controller. So that's actually what I'm doing now with this certain build. Um, I'm hopefully trying to get all the games to work outside of Hyperspin so that I know that it does work with the, 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 the actual Xbox controller. So if that does work, it's a very simple little coding thing to ignore the keyboard on it. But basically, again, right now, I'm able to exit out and we're back to normal on this. This one did not give us the AHK. So we are actually good on this end here. We could exit out freely. Let's get rid of Joy to Key here. We're just on the wrong menu. And now we're back. So I mean, again, keep in mind there is some things like that. Some of the, the this one I disabled the notification pop-up. So there are notifications coming up there about the resolution and something about the virus protection is turned off. So I mean, again, that's why you always gotta play with it. You always gotta look at it. Um, I, again, right now, the biggest thing for this certain build right now is that I'm literally going into each game and fixing 
basically I'm, I'm putting all the Xbox 360 CE program to make sure it understands the Xbox controllers on that. So, I mean, there you guys have it. There's no way to just copy and paste these things. You know, Hyperspin is a different beast.